Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Solar Radiation, Global Warming and Human Disease. And we're here to do a follow-up on this experiment. And this plant right here was put inside this cage in August and it was grown in that cage and it's now March. And we're going to look at the defects that came up on this plant from being inside a Faraday cage. So it's been electromagnetically shielded. So this is the last of the original leaves and you can see it's very, very matte and it's patterned and it's about the size of my hand. So this was a leaf that was coming up when it went into the cage. And the thing that you'll notice is it's still got the patterning, but it's gone very shiny. It's very glossy and it's very stalky. It's very long. I'm going to show you that in a minute. And this is one that has come up since that leaf came up and this appears to be the way that an electromagnetically shielded Diefenbachia will grow. So this is all its patterning. The leaf gets much smaller and it gets very stalky. It's very, this is a very tall plant compared to my others. So you can see that pattern is repeated in this other growth down here. So it seems to lose all its patterning and grow in this green shiny leaf growth. So let's take a little look at the side you can see how stalky it is. So you can see all the branching structure is quite different. So I'm going to show you what this plant used to look like. And you can see this if you review the original video, but the plant that went in the cage looked like this. So it's quite different. So this is what a Diphonbachia should look like. So we've definitely got growth defects going on. And we're going to talk about why they occur. So to do that, we're going to have to use the standard AM radio. And we're going to be tuned into static on the AM band. And the reason why we're going to be tuned into static is to show you what has happened in this process. So that noise is radio static. And you get it in between the radio stations. So, the thing about that noise is that is the background radiation level. And that's what we stopped this plant from receiving. So we took the background radiation out and it's affected its growth. And it's the conclusion I've come to in this book is that the background radiation levels are essential to human growth as well. So you need to be very, very careful about electromagnetically shielding your home. And some people have inadvertently electromagnetically shielded their homes with radiant barriers. So a lot of building materials now have foil backing to them. They call it a radiant barrier shield. And the problem with that is it's an electromagnetic shield. So you live in a home that has radiant barrier in it. Well, you're going to see some very strange things going on with growth inside your home. And you're probably not going to be able to grow one of these plants because you've shielded out the electromagnetic radiation environment. I'm going to show you how that works. So let's put the radio back on. So this is our radiant barrier. It's just a piece of foil, standard aluminum foil. I'm going to wrap the radio up in this foil and we're going to see what happens. So you can hear that the, the background radiation has just disappeared. And if you shield out that background radiation, you're going to get growth defects. And you're probably going to get quite sick in a home that has this kind of shielding. And that also includes homes that are made out of metal and have metal siding, because they're going to be exhibiting this effect, the shielding effect that this radio is doing. So let's take it off. So there's the background radiation again. So that's my conclusion with this experiment. And I talk about it in this book is that you need to be very, very careful with electromagnetic shielding. And I actually don't recommend 
that you electromagnetically shield your home. And if you are in a situation where you need to do electromagnetic shielding, you should just shield the area where you have the problem. You shouldn't shield the whole home. And if you get to a point where you need to shield your home, whole home, I would recommend that you seriously consider moving. It's a bad idea to shield your entire home because you're gonna start seeing some very, very weird growth patterns, both in your plants and, you know, if you're raising babies and children, you may see some very strange growth patterns in them. And you may see some very strange illness effects in yourself. So this is an emerging field. It's still in development. And I just wanted to show you where the results are up to. So electromagnetically shielding the Diefenbachia caused all its growth patterns to change and caused it to exhibit some very, very strange growth that is unique to this plant. The, there are no other plants in my home that look like this one. This one is very, very unusual. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.